76er, you know what I'm saying? Dr. J vibes. That's me, Jerry McCain, the newest guard for the Philadelphia 76ers. Yeah, we're going to Philly. This works. You're probably wondering how I got here. Let me show you. It's draft week in NYC. Day before the draft, we are going to go try on my watch, get it fitted for the draft. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Jerry. Nice Great to meet, meet you. you. Whew. You gotta put the glove on, this is crazy. Thank you. This is beautiful. And you have a good contrast there between that's the yellow beautiful. gold, the indexes. Yeah, that's beautiful. So what made you choose this piece? I like the black and gold. Big yeah. fan of Drake. He has the OVO, so I think the black uh, and gold is perfect for me. Okay. Matches my suit with the black, little yeah. hints of gold, so and my jewelry's gold. It's perfect. It's a classic piece. Classic. Shout out Hugh Blow for the watch. They got me right for the draft. It's a beautiful watch. How much was your watch? Whoa, yo. Yo, I don't know how much on watches. Y'all should ask Devin. Uh, the watch, like I said, Hugh Blow got it today. Cause I don't know how much his watch is. Ready for this to be over with? <laughs> for sure. I'm ready to find my real estate. Decorate my place. Yep. Uh, get the you know, now I just want to know the next step. Ne need to know what city we're going to go to work in. Very busy, very hectic, but it's all for good fun. I mean, it's for, for my dream, so it's everything I've ever wanted. <sighs> Can you pass me some paper, paper towels? towels? Hey, Jared, you ready to go? Let's do it. I'm hungry. Mexican, brown, brown rice, rice, black beans, beans chicken, chicken, steak, lettuce, salsa, salsa, cheese, and guac. There's nothing better than a strong connection. That's why Visible gives you a powerful 5G network that you can rely on. As y'all getting ready for draft night, for the league, I want to be as transparent with you as possible, so I'll give you a chance to ask me anything y'all want. What's the biggest distraction in NBA? City to city travel and temptation. The problem is the schedule's documented, so everyone's gonna know where you're gonna be before you're there. Family, friends, they're gonna want to get you out of your hotel room, out of your house, to enjoy life, to spend your money with them. It's tempting because you come from college, there's probably more rules in college. There's no rules now. You're your own man, you're a grown man, and there's just consequences. I got a question. What was your welcome to the league moment? Uh, Preseason, we played the Rockets. And they knew I was a rookie, and literally they ISO'd me 10 times in a row. Like right. barbecue chicken. Nah, nah, nah. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> barbecue chicken, but like, you know, they got off a little, but like, you know, I don't know, you get starstruck a little bit, maybe a, a little bit. It don't happen too much, because you out there to kill. And you gotta have that mentality the whole time, because they're trying to put food on the table for their kids, so the motivation's different. So they actually don't care about you. Elbow you, push you. Yeah, that's what it is. Are you gonna remember us when you see us? Do you think you'll oh. say hi to us? I don't know. <laughs> you want big what do you think time to do, bro? I would like mm -hmm. to think that you he say hi to us. He might walk past us. I think he might walk past us. Oh, hey, y'all gonna, gonna, gonna say what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna say what's up. I'm telling you, like, this is nice. <laughs> like, keep this. <laughs> keep this bond y'all have. You know, the little Duke shit, that's cute. <laughs> you gonna be in the West, you gonna be in the East, you gonna be in the North. You know, everybody gonna be everywhere, right? Oh, good. We're done. We're actually done. It's a wrap. to put on my suit that I feel like I designed. It was cool to actually finally put it on for the day that I've been waiting for my whole life. Um, it was a great feeling. Double-breasted, uh, but I decided to do a little crop to it. Um, black suit, didn't want to do nothing a crazy color or anything like that. First time I felt just cool, cool like Devin Carter or something like that, it just felt really cool. I'm trying to be present, trying to be taking every moment, but it's hard because I'm getting too excited. Right now I'm feeling it though, putting on the suit. Does he get his style from you? Well, I think a combination of dad and I. The smile, I will say me. Pretty crazy, I can't even lie. I'm already at a loss for words and I haven't even started crying yet, so. You gonna cry when you get the call? Oh, for sure. Cause I'm gonna start crying again. My dad. We keep talking about it like, you know, can't believe it. Like, 
Well, where are we going? It's, it's a little, it makes you a little anxious, but. Is it a lot of time? You know, yeah. it's part of it. So you can talk to young you right now in this moment. Who are you talking about? To just stay the course, continue to work hard, and always be yourself no matter what situation I'm in. That's been the main thing throughout this whole process. Potatoes always is me. He don't, he don't leave my sight. The nails, obviously. Yep. Just simple. Simple black. Goes in my suit. Those pants look nice on you, too. I love the sight of those. All right, bye, guys. Bye. I'll see you. Kyle's wearing. I don't. I really have no. He said I'm. A, he said I'm gonna be surprised by what he wore. So oh, I actually yeah. don't know what he. He didn't put on no fit at Duke. He wore the Duke slides with the all blue Duke sweatsuit. <laughs> I mean, he came out with a different fit every game. But I was thinking more after the game. I want to be comfortable in sweats and sweatshirt when I go home. So that's what I did. <sighs> it doesn't feel real yet, to be honest. I think once I get there, hear my name, you know, it's gonna feel a little bit more real. Man, I mean, I've been thinking about this for uh, a decade. That's crazy. I'm old. <laughs> wow. This looks, this looks sick. I tried that suit on. It was a crazy, incredible feeling. I mean, one, I felt so, uh, as Jared likes to say, beautiful. I could cry, probably maybe a little bit, but. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's crazy to be honest. It was a really cool feeling. I, I did feel really nice in in what I was wearing. I loved what I was wearing, and then you know what it represented for the big night ahead. Your shoes look good. Hell yeah, they do. I wish I could afford. You know who can afford this jewelry? Devin Carter. He's got a lot of money now. He's gonna bring some crazy, some crazy watch, crazy fit. Uh, yeah, we in here, man. It's draft day. Putting on the suit on draft day is like a surreal feeling. The moment's finally here. You know, everything you worked for, all starting to come together. You know, wearing a shirt, right? No shirt? No shirt. That's your swag, bro. You feel me? I ain't gonna change. Came across the shirtless look, just, you know, being from Florida, a lot of Floridians don't wear their shirts. Like, you just sometimes just throw on a hoodie and just go like that. So, I just thought I'd do something that, you know, represents Florida. Overtime, shout out Overtime. This is my coach, coach Nate right here. We got Corey, Maddie. Definitely one of my favorites, probably the favorite that I've encountered with from how he plays, but also the person that he is. He's a way better person than he is a basketball player. Yeah, it's the eight. Now time for real, huh? Hey, Cole, Cole, now time for real, huh? Just like a big family reunion, you know, all my friends in one spot, and uh, you know, everybody had a great time. All right, everybody, I appreciate everybody in there. I got a slide. I'm just extremely proud you know, how he did it, did it his way. Yeah, man, everything that he worked for is starting to pay off. We're finna head down to the uh, lobby right now at the port for the uh, draft. Everybody about to get on the bus. We're finna see who else got some good fits. I know mine is top two, and it's not two, so we about to go see what everybody else got. What's up, Kyle? It's Said. Like the whole week is crazy, but like this moment, you get out the elevator. I mean, it felt like there was thousands of people in the lobby. Yeah, are you guys nervous? I'm nervous as hell, right? Zach is wearing Air Force. I'm anxious. You could tell a lot of people were anxious or nervous. Everybody's there. Cameras, NBA, all the marketing team, all the agents. Thank you. You look great. You look amazing. You know, everyone's still enjoying it, you know, having a good time with each other, you know, reminiscing. But yeah, no, you, could, you could feel like the tension in the room, too. You look beautiful. Who's best dressed? Yeah, I'm gonna go Flip. I think Flip really stepped. I ain't gonna, like, I'm not even saying this because he's part of the overtime show. Like, I think Flip really stepped. Very surprising, which I think adds to his suit. Not expecting this. Appreciate that from Jared, but, uh, you know, I think I surprised a lot of people. Flip, I like Flip suit. I like the gold with it. No, it's definitely good. I think it's a 10 out of 10. You mind a 10 out of 10? I, mean, I give you a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's the brotherhood. Why would I not reckon anything below that? I mean, Jared's was very Jared. And so I thought he was like, 
most true to himself, and it was a good fit. Devin had on that, that baby blue, sky blue, no shirt under. Yeah, so we ready for draft now. You know, we went Florida boy, nothing underneath, so we just straight skinning it, you hear me? He walks around like he runs everything, which he basically does. Who we'll really put it on, though? Who we'll really put it on, though? Just walking around with confidence is big time. You know, it's definitely fun to see everybody's, like, non-competitive side, you know, just talking to people who can end up playing against throughout the year. I know he had some on that wrist that cost a lot of money. Few blow watch, we got custom, one-on-one, Cartier, chrome hard glasses. And so it's pretty hectic. That's why I had to get a little TikTok in with my draftees because I didn't know how much time we were going to have. We'll go left. We'll go oh, left. Down, down. We'll go left. In the NBA, you get so close with everybody, especially around the league. It's a small league, so you just get to know everybody. So to start that process now is really cool. The draft is just a number, regardless of what number that is. You know, you're going to enjoy it for one night, but then what matters more is where you end up. You go on social media, everything's about the draft. I'm getting texts about the draft before I'm even drafted. I think that's good advice to look at too, just so you know, I'm not putting too much pressure on myself or feeling any negative energy. The draft is only a few hours away, go time. Excited to see where I'm gonna end up next year and uh, ready to start this new journey at the draft. We get to Barclays, the anticipation, the anxiousness that we were all feeling, it was crazy. Just taking forever. Spend the whole day getting ready for it. Now that you're almost there, you're just like, all right, let's speed this up. We don't have any real surprises early in the draft right now. Just patiently waiting to hear my name called. It's something I visualized since I was a kid, hearing my name called, I've written it down infinite times in my journal. Kings are on the clock. My agent, he came up to me and told me that the Kings were going to pick me at 13th. Then it actually hit me, you know, that I'm finally about to hear my name called. And it was just, uh, it was just a real feeling. It was just a very special moment. I remember it forever. Glad I didn't trip on the way up, for sure. <laughs> it's a great feeling, you know. That's what he's uh, worked all his life for. And uh, when his name was finally called, I just relaxed because I was nervous for him. Was there any point before you got picked that, that there were nerves? No. <laughs> cool, man, cool design. For me personally, I wasn't really too nervous just because I know how hard I worked to be there in that moment and how deserving I was for it. So we just got changed, uh, about to head to the WME agency after party, you know, ready for this next chapter to see uh, if we can get a championship in Sacramento. you're ready for what's about to happen you think you kind of know what city you're going to you think you know how you're gonna feel but you don't know nothing until you get that call you're sitting there and you look around and the camera starts to come to you Adam Silver walks out he comes into the podium the Philadelphia 76ers select Jerry McCain from Duke University he says that everything goes blank start crying immediately, go straight to my family, my mom, my dad, my brother. This is my favorite moment of all time in my life, probably, just to share that moment with my brother. Best moment in my life, by far, by far. I was super happy I was able to get up and give him a big hug and tell him I was proud of him. I know he deserved that and so much more. And that's my guy, and we're out achieving our dream, so I'll be super excited when we get to play and see him again. Uh, shaking the goat's hand. Um, I was very conscious of this moment, didn't know if I was going to handshake him or go in for the dap. It worked out perfectly, it was a perfect dap up, no mistakes, no aura was lost. Another great moment in my life, just happy as can be, I mean that's just... This is fire, I can get used to this. They play us after every win or something? Yeah, I can get used to this for sure. This is great vibes, great vibes. Let's go Sixers! 76er, you know what I'm saying? Dr. J vibes. I'm just, I'm just grateful to be alive, man. This is a blessing. They're getting a very funny guy, just a humble, hardworking, ready to win type of player, Jared. I just lived out my dream, accomplished the, the one dream that is 
been on my mind since I was literally five years old. And uh, it's surreal. There's no, no other word to describe it. I was bummed there were some teams in the 10 to 20 range that didn't take me. But once I got to 20, I was like, oh. Then the last pick was made in the first round, and that was the end of the night. It was definitely a weird feeling, for sure. I was definitely surprised. Um, that was very unfortunate, you know, just being in the green room and not hearing your name called. I've been with him through a whole Duke season, so I know what he's capable of. So I know he'll thrive in this league and he'll do his best to figure it out. Did you have any idea that there was a possibility that round one might not happen? No, it didn't, didn't cross my mind for a second. But crazy things happen in this world and, you know, I think everything happens for a reason too and you just got to see the blessing in disguise. I texted him after that. I told him, obviously you can't control anything, just wherever you go, just go kill. The next morning, I went to North Carolina, I went back to Duke. I was at Coach Shire's house for day two of the draft, waiting for my name to be called. I was super relieved. I mean, I did start crying. Uh, it was definitely a, an emotional moment for sure, just because everything leading up to it. It's something we talked about like throughout the whole year at Duke. Um, and for that moment for both of us to finally be in the NBA, it's just cool to see our dream come to life. Uh, we worked so hard for this moment, so I'm happy to see one of my brothers get drafted at any time. It's the dream and it's, it's only a day or two and now, you know, I, I feel like I'm in the right spot and that's all that matters. for making it to the end of the video. Here at Overtime, we got guys that are elite athletes like myself and then people that just love to talk like Zero over here. If you guys want to see more content, make sure you guys hit subscribe and then also Yo, make sure to check. Watch out, my man. Check out the videos on the side over here.